and I have no idea what, what this is about. Uh, so it's called CG Res- Is it from Chaos Squad? Yes, it is. It's called CG Responds. Is AZ ramming aloud? AZ. I don't know what AZ is, but let's pirates see. Pirates are griefers and griefers are pirates, and they both suck and oh. I hate them all. What's up, Jack? You're being pirated oh. by Chaos Squad. Uh-oh. You're being pirated. Uh-oh. What by who? Yo ho. I am Captain Dirty. And I'm here today with a pirate service announcement for everyone. Recently, a couple members of Chaos Squad encountered a cargo hauler that had a caterpillar full of cargo sitting inside of an armistice zone. Oh, armistice zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, first of all, you got to get a better microphone. (laughs) We're waiting for a little while and seeing... This is not the first time. Our pirates concluded that the ship had been abandoned. Or at least get it closer to your face. But yeah. theory to break into the ship and steal it. Shortly afterwards, they began to notice some uh, messages in general chat. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at those now. So I've highlighted the Paladin's messages here for everyone. And I'm just going to go ahead and read them off. I was talking... No, I was taking screens of you ramming with the Fury and Armistice, by the way. Up to you, though. You can just send me 5 million and I won't have... I won't have... Okay, Borat. Any reason to report? Okay. I was taking screens of you ramming with the Fury in Armistice, by the way. Uh, up to you, though. You can just send me the 5 mil, and I won't have any reason to report. He goes on to say, Okay, Pariah and Dr. Strangelove, I got the report in, but I'm curious about the six other times I have done it. I never hear back, so let me know what happens. Not being snarky. How how can they let you know what happens? They just always say they can't tell me the results because it involves other players. Dude, that's the stupidest thing ever. Like, listen, I'm not on his side. I I, I still don't understand what the fuck happened. But uh, that's the stupidest thing ever. Like, when you report somebody... I didn't do it ever, um, and, uh, like, ever uh, in Star Citizen. I did it in other games. Um... In any other game, like, th- th- that I played, that I reported people, uh, and, like, off the top of my head is gonna be, like, Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege, um, those people mostly got reported for, like, saying the N-words, being overly toxic, and, and all of that. It sounds like he's uh, recording this on his phone, I don't know, uh, in his toilet, but that doesn't matter. So, um, the thing is... Whenever you report somebody, and if there is an action taken uh, towards them, you get a n- like you get notified. And Blizzard, uh, in case of Overwatch, would thank you for reporting that uh, person. And uh, Rainbow Six Siege or uh, UB would tell you, hey, that that person I don't know was toxic or he was. Uh, if there was a cheater, for example, every time that there was a cheater in my game and he got reported and then kicked or banned. Uh, you will get like a, a, a rank up or you will not lose the points that you lost uh, in that game. It happens a bunch of times to me in uh, Siege and the thing is uh, some of the hackers are so fucking bad that you win the match and then get the points, like even like you get double the points basically. But in Star Citizen, for some reason, they do not want to discuss uh, with the... Um, victim they, they don't want to tell him what happened like you you reported them and, and they're like yeah okay thank you bye and that's it like what's the fucking point so just to break that down uh this player the paladin had set up their caterpillar full of cargo inside an armistice zone and then waited nearby, out of sight, until some pirates came along, broke into it, and stole it. Then, they decided that they would try to extort pirates for 5 million in-game credits, 
so that the paladin would not report the pirates. Now, uh, <clears throat> my crew knows that this this tactic is uh, legal, and we have been doing it. For it's because years they do nothing, probably. Yeah, have not really caught any flack from CIG for doing that. So they basically laughed it off. However, uh, one of our other members caught wind of this and decided that they would uh, put in a ticket with CIG. And CIG actually responded with something that I thought was pretty interesting and wanted to share with everyone. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so I, I see the chat. I was supposedly um, reported at least 60 times and I, uh, I never was even contacted by CIG. So I can tell you this. Uh, I had an issue, well, not me, my old org had an issue with another org uh, and one of my uh, org members uh, with my old org uh, reported... Oh my god, this is so fucking wacky. Like, the, the, the way that I'm explaining this. So, we were griefed by another org constantly for months. And not only that, they made a bunch of videos. They made, like, an hour-long video. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. Some, some of you may not. And... Uh, they were like also doxing in that video, and one of the uh, victims that was in my org reported them for doxing because it was like his face that they showed, etc. etc. So, the only thing that I can tell you is that they're still playing the game, they're still like putting out videos, nothing ever fucking happened to them. He got the same email that everybody uh, got for reporting anyone in Star Citizen. We used a Fury to break into a trader's ship, since he was seemingly... Also, yeah, how do you ban somebody that, like, spends $20,000 on the game? How, how, how can you ban that kind of a whale? It's, it's not, like... It's not okay towards the whale, and, and, and also it's bad for business. So, yeah. Anyway. We used a Fury to break into a trader's ship, since he was seemingly nowhere to be found. Apparently, he was hiding, just watching us. Then decided the real game was in the reports. I don't think that using this system is a proper manner to fight back against pirates, but felt it prudent to ask. Is forcibly entering a ship while an armistice acceptable gameplay? He apparently does these reports a lot as well. Thanks, guys. So CIG gives the kind of typical response when you filed any kind of uh, you know report against another player. They say, thank you for bringing this to our attention. We do take all reports regarding in-game player behavior seriously and investigate accordingly. We appreciate the evidence provided. This is now being reviewed by our team. As this involves another player's account, we will not be able to provide updates to you well, on this course. specific case. But please know we're actively looking into this situation. They're not. If there's any See, the difference, Jack, uh, between DayZ and uh, Star Citizen is that DayZ has a bunch of private servers. And those uh, private servers are modded and all of that, but they're also, they, they have active admins. And whenever you feel like somebody was cheating, you can report them and they will act on it and you will know what happened in the end so for example i had a situation where i have like a, a video uh, a part of what happens on on my second channel slight digression but it doesn't matter uh so i was new to the game fairly new to the game i have no idea uh let me see oh no this is this is my main channel never mind so i nicked a truck from a guy uh there we go so first of all i had no idea that there were uh like three people on the server me this guy that i killed and another guy i didn't know that because i didn't know that there was like a player a player list that you can activate like that you can see so i killed the guy i got his uh truck oh, where's the Where's the video? Oh, that, no, that, that is... Come on. 
Come on. Yeah, he's going to come over now. Come to the car. You know you want to. Oh, there we go. All right. That's how you shoot your gun. So I killed him. I took the, uh, the car and I went back to my base and I stopped recording. Because I was so fucking, he shot at me, it, it was a fucking surprise, I just like jumped out of my seat. Uh, it was a pretty good en engagement, but like in day Z, you can see, you, you can like lose everything that you work on for a whole fucking day in a second, basically. And what happened was, I took the car, went back to the base, and I hopped into uh, Scar Citizen's uh, stream, and I told him, dude, I just like found the Bronco, uh, I was so fucking excited and all that, and I was like KFK for 20 minutes. And in the game AFK. And as soon as I got back into the game, I open uh, uh, the, the door of my base and I get shot the fuck up immediately. Unfortunately, I don't have video proof of that because uh, I stopped recording, right? So I survived somehow. I, I ran back into the, into the base and I reported the guy on the fucking uh, uh, server Discord, right? I don't know who it is, but I said, right now, somebody fucking shot me outside my base. I was AFK for tw 20 minutes. Nobody knew, like, there was no movement in the base. There was no fucking sound. The dude was obviously, like, wall hacking, and, and he knew that I was there. And as soon as I fucking, like, opened the door and blasted immediately. And the admins immediately started, like, researching, like, who it is. Even though it was like 2 a.m., the, the guy, the admiral, was fucking uh, awake. And what happened is that the that the guy that shot me on, on uh, he like appeared on, on the Discord server and he said like, what the fuck, dude? I, I saw you on the player list. I knew that, that like that, that's your base. I saw your Bronco, blah, blah, blah. And he was actually the uh, a friend of the guy that I stole the car from, right? So in the end, we befriended each other and we were like uh, cool and all of that. But... I'm just saying, like, in, in, um, you, you guys are still talking about fucking Starfield. You're just fucking excited about Starfield. I have a Starfield video for you guys. Anyway, um, in the end, you know what, uh, admins are doing in any other game. And that's the different, difference be between CG and all the other games. Like, yes, if you play, uh, on like, uh, public servers on, uh, DayZ, like, there's not even a way to report a person, right? But that's why you don't do it. Additional information, please feel free to reply to this email. So, we follow up. Sorry to bother you further, but I am just requesting confirmation that forcibly entering someone's ship, as long as they are not on a spawnable pad, regardless of Armistice Zone, is in fact legitimate gameplay. If it's easy to do so as well, could you also confirm that weaponizing the report system is also an abuse of game systems. And may I please use this email thread to amend the rules in which my org follows, as well as make public your answers. For example, you all, you, like, you all saw the hackers in Star Citizen, you all saw how bad uh, the hacks are and how fucking blatant they are. And you can report a hacker, but you would never fucking know if he got banned or not. And he's probably not going to get banned. CIG responds uh, again, and they say, Attempting to slash succeeding in gaining control of a ship, regardless of where it occurs, equals piracy. The crime slash law system isn't perfect right now and will be getting improvements as the game comes along, but theft slash piracy is not a reportable offense. Of course. As for weaponizing reporting, there's no, <laughs> there's such, no thing. such things. All sure. reports are reviewed and vetted before any action sure. is taken. We do not blindly follow reports, and most people who say reported don't even follow through. Players that are found to be abusing the support system to ticket in and report players may find themselves in trouble too, but rest assured all reports are reviewed. I'm leaving the name blank. This is Game Support Specialist from RSI. So, right. <clears throat> what does this mean? Uh, there are two big takeaways here. The first one is this. 
Seems yeah, Starfield is using an um, in-house engine. I don't know why you're still fucking talking about Starfield. Jesus Christ. Very clear confirmation that using a ship inside of an armistice zone to ram another ship open is not a reportable offense. So it doesn't seem to matter if they're in the air or on a pad or next to the pad. I think as long as you can't spawn a ship on the pad and, uh, you know, they're anywhere else. No, actually it says attempting to or succeeding in gaining control of a ship regardless of where it occurs is piracy. So you can also do it on a fucking pad. A free game. Uh, but I would still avoid the Platinum Bay pads, even though you're not really going to find cargo ships sitting on that. So it doesn't really matter, right? No, uh, no, I would still go for them. Uh, now for the second part. As for weaponizing reporting, there's no such thing. I disagree with that. I do think there's a contingent of players that are using the report system to threaten and bully uh, other players, uh, namely PvP-oriented players, into playing the game in a way I think CAG made this guy's players. microphone. <laughs> yeah, guys, come on. It's a tier one microphone. Come on. I've seen a lot of it actually in the last few weeks there's zero actually this is just another example but now, like <clears throat> dirty or captain dirty down, like did anyone say, ever get banned do we have like do we know that anyone ever get banned got banned uh from star citizen not from spectrum but from the game itself we have no idea that players that are found to be i don't know any like system. i i know people that are like known griefers and then they're still like playing the game without any issues to take it in and report players may find themselves in trouble too and this i think is probably the most interesting part of this message um, this is confirmation that they are considering yeah they uh, is just a better game are falsely Instead reporting other players um and you know piling on report ticket after report ticket and bogging the game developers down and the support specialist down with these nonsense uh you know reports this is considered a violation and i doubt these folks are going to get banned outright but i'm sure they're getting warnings and possibly even suspensions if they're continuing to behave in that manner um, so I think that this is good news. I think, first of all, um, clarifying the rules about what is and is not allowed inside the armistice zone is important and good for both the pirates and the Care Bears. Uh, we all know now where the line is, so thank you to this support specialist. Uh, I appreciate it. I know a lot of other people will also. I mean, they already had an issue with uh, with people reporting them for uh, you. You probably remember the Carrick incident, the Carrick Karen, the guy that was like just spawning over and over again in the med bay and getting killed. And uh, apparently, somebody else actually reported them. But uh, yeah, like it's just oh, Star Citizen, dude. Like. They tell you nothing, and then you gotta, like... I understand both sides. That, that That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I understand both sides. On, on one side, you have Care Bears that think that this is not a... Like, Star Citizen is not a PvP game. And then you have PvPers and, like, um, pirates and all of that that just want to do that and nothing else. So the Care Bears... Keep on, like, uh, insulting them and all that. So no mentions of taking control of a ship through a glitch. Most um, pirates would do that. They would just, like, glitch inside of your ship and then, like, uh, take control. Because why not? It's so fucking easy to do with most of the ships. But, yeah. Anyway, like... Yeah, th that, there's the video. Uh, it's it's an okay video, but like we already knew 
that uh, CAG like considered most of it piracy. But then like the the line was thin with the Carrick incident because uh, it was just like happen happening over and over again. It looked like griefing to some people, but it wasn't because they were trying to take control. And the the fact that they like that CAG didn't put any like game mechanics into the ship itself. So you can prevent the owner from spawning once you take the fucking ship. Is is they're bad? It, it, it's 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 a bad on, on like CAG's part, and that's it.